The quick answer to the question of why CGI is getting worse is because on the surface it seems like it is actually getting worse for people who don't really understand what it takes to create CGI, but in fact CGI is not getting worse when it comes to the technology and the level of skill artists have if they work under the right conditions. So this begs the question of why sometimes we see movies with CGI that does not look that good. Number one, the best CGI looks like reality, we only see bad CGI. Believe it or not, but CGI technology these days is so good that even CGI artists themselves find it hard sometimes to tell whether a shot is CGI or not. And this will make normal people be only able to see bad CGI, that is why basically we are discussing this topic in the first place. Talented artists that work in top VFX studios spent countless hours trying to perfect their craft and make CGI that delivers the same visuals and experience of reality. This will lead to a paradox. The more time and effort artists spend on their shots, the more invisible and unappreciated their work will be. You won't believe how many scenes in movies created using CGI that look exactly like reality, but we are able to see it as CGI only when it looks bad. This is similar to a plastic surgery. We don't see when a surgeon did a perfect job because it looks exactly like what a face should look like. But when it goes wrong, we are able to tell instantly. Number two, time. When I say that VFX artists are one of the hardest working people on this planet, I don't think I'm exaggerating. The number of hours and effort these people put into their craft is insane. Time is the biggest determining factor of how CGI looks because for sure these guys that work on Hollywood blockbuster movies don't like the skills necessary to blow our minds, but they are always working under deadlines and things keep changing, also recreating shots is something that happens all the time. The average movie that needs CGI has thousands of shots in it and the question will be how good can we make this movie look within the time frame we have or we are given because I am sure that most CGI shots that don't look that good were created under pressure and lack of time. Number 3. Money or Budget Budget is also a big factor when it comes to producing CGI. Sometimes VFX studios lose money when working on CGI for movies because of the time needed to finish the amount of work that is assigned to them and sometimes it just takes longer so automatically they have to work extra hours for weeks on end. And sometimes they have to recreate many shots without being compensated for their extra work. Now we're going to talk about some technical reasons for why CGI sometimes doesn't look realistic. Number one, lighting. We see reality every waking moment and everything that does not live up to that is going to look off and unrealistic. A lack of frame of reference for lighting is one of the reasons why CGI looks kind of separated from reality. So CGI artists need something to refer to in order to blend their work with reality perfectly. Sometimes artists are given shots that are filmed in a certain lighting condition and they are required to integrate it in a movie in a different lighting condition which makes matter worse and their job even harder. And lighting is of course more complicated than this because there are other technical difficulties that go into creating realistic CGI. Number 2. Animation Animation is also one of the most difficult things to fake. Once again, as human beings, we are used to seeing objects move in a certain way all the time, and everything that does not match what we see on a day-to-day -day basis is going to look unrealistic. Number 3. Human Faces Probably if there is anything very hard to achieve using CGI that all artists can agree on is the creation of realistic faces that can trick the human mind to believe that it is actually real. Very few studios were able to create realistic looking faces that went unnoticed because it looked so good. It is very hard to trick the human mind when it comes to facial recognition because we see hundreds of them every single day. Also, there are unconscious detection mechanisms that happen or that work because of our subconscious minds. That is why we know that there is something wrong with the face, but we cannot tell exactly what it is. Number 4. High quality images and faster frame rate. The increase of image quality and the usage of higher frame rates sometimes backfires because of the imperfections will start to become clearer and more obvious. Now with the stunning clarity of 2K and 4K, we're starting to see the cracks in the pavements. As resolution increases, CGI is becoming less convincing and harder and more time consuming because artists have to spend more time and energy refining all the tiny details on the screen to create something realistic. 
I hope this video gave you a clear idea about how to create CGI and the difficulties involved and how it is not that easy to deliver something that looks realistic using CGI and I hope that you appreciate the time and effort that went into creating these amazing movies that we see and we love. You can tell us what you think in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.